All right, welcome everybody. We are at New World Technologies here in Canada. Um, this place is something else. I got invited down here because these guys are gonna sponsor my tour of the West Coast and they're gonna give me some, some fun new tools to show all, all you guys out there and for you to try out. So let me show you where all the magic happens. We're gonna go through this. This is a manufacturing facility. Let me take you in here to where they have the boardroom in here. This is actually a um, replica of Mineshaft. So these guys started in the mining industry and as you can see, this looks like a mine shaft in here. You can see some of, these, uh, some of these tools here, you know, old mining tools. Look at this massive thing, <laughs> it's huge. But just on the other side of this boardroom, we have New World. So they took the old world and then they transformed it into the New World. And that's what uh, New World Technology does. They, they have brought the technology to us in the field for us to be able to torque bolts with their electric torque guns and make our job simpler and easier. And that's what we're gonna go do, is gonna go look at how all this stuff is manufactured. And uh, I gotta say, I went on the tour earlier today and I'm really impressed. So let's go, you guys follow me. We gotta wear our safety glasses though. Don't wanna, uh, don't wanna get anything. There's a lot of machining going on in here, so let's check it out. big facility here. I'm gonna have to speak up a little bit. I lost my voice, but there's a lot of machining going on here. Um, these, these things are all made here in Canada. What part of Canada are we in? Vancouver. We're in Vancouver, Canada, and this the town is called Abbotsford. Abbotsford, and it's a beautiful little town. It's right really close to the border. I think we jumped over the border and we were here, you know, it mattered like one mile from the border or something like that. So we're here in a couple of minutes after we crossed over this morning. So you can see uh, they're making things like this. Um, obviously, I don't know what this is. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, but I was able to go through and see how they make all this stuff and hear a little bit about the story. Uh, we, what was it? Uh, the Shaper. This is a, okay, so this is the Shaper. Check this out here, guys. Pretty cool. in the bottom nice so you can see here that's the finished product on the left and then on the right is how it starts so it's just going up and down so you guys have been around for how long now oh 20 years 20 years now 25 years now wow. Actually, 25 years. so you can see they're making stuff like this pretty cool so all of this it's all made to make, this is like kind of the gearbox assembly plant. So we're, they're making all of the gearboxes for like the, the B rads and the E rads. So all of that ratio that it takes from, to go from a high, high spinning ratio all the way down to the small, like high torque. That's, that's the stuff that they're making here, right? And they make it all in house. It's amazing. They showed us this stuff here. So, yeah. so that, there's your final output. Okay. So there's your final output. So the part that's being made, he's taking it from this, he's splining it, and then it's going to put it in there to drive that gearbox. Right. And we have our uh, planetary gears here. That's awesome. That's final stage. Really, there's a ton of stuff here that's just way over my head. I've got to be honest, but. The good thing is, is I've used these tools before and we were able to run down, you know, how to show you guys how to properly use them as well as, um, you know, let you know about some of the newer features that they've come out with, including the electronic socket. So check this out here, guys. This is really fun. So they're making, um, what, what are we making in here? Okay. What are we making in here? We're making a planet gear. A planet gear. Nice. And this thing, you can see it has multiple axes of rotation. Uh, I think that we had seven or eight. That's so what he's doing. Wow, that's awesome. You're going from this to this. 
And then we're gonna insert a bearing in there. Yeah. Bearings that you guys make those. Roll them. Roll, Roll the bearings. Them up. So we've got uh, we've got quite a few things going on. This machine here. He's, he's down right now, but we're taking this and going to that. Alright, check this out. This is what this guy here makes. So we've got all kinds of equipment here. We've got some old equipment and some really, really new, new age equipment. We'll go check some of that out too. That yeah, we'll, we'll go this way. This is where we uh, where we get into some of the newer stuff here. Um, it's blank on this side now. That's okay. All right. There. So let's take a look in here. So you'll see it's going to move a pallet in and out. It should be doing that. So you can see here that there's multiple pallets. Oh, there there goes one over there. On the other side of them. And each pallet has, you know, four sides and they can machine multiple tools or multiple, you know, multiple pieces automatically. Like yep. he was explaining that they can actually set this all up right before they go home and they can knock out, you know, what, hundreds of parts, right? Hundreds of parts. Yeah. That's amazing. So what they do is they pre-program all this stuff so they can run and be more productive so they can make more tools because they make this stuff on demand. So if you don't know what these guys make, um, you should probably check them out and we'll, we'll, send, you a, we'll send you a link and maybe we'll even show you, we'll show you what, uh, what they make, the end result. I know a lot of this is just the pieces and stuff, but it's really interesting. You can see here that these are all of the tools that are pre-selected by the machine itself. So it doesn't even need a person to load the tools up. What it does is it just selects it out of, you know, a bin like that and th there it is. So you can see here we got all of the all the what do we call these the chips? Yeah, chip. <laughs> this chip bin. So here's some more um, more tooling, more tooling. Everything that they can load inside of this. This is kind of like the fun part right here where we get to see um, where they program it all and how the control is. But you can see here a little bit of what, what's going on. It's hard to see because there's a lot of splashing going on. But you can see that there's multiple um, there's multiple things on that one pallet. So they're doing, I think it looks like four pieces on here yeah. <laughs> right now. And this is just a really this is like a modern marble for sure. So it got, this kind of explains exactly how many things can go on, like how many axes. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look and maybe we'll catch uh, it moving and breaking loose. So that top one it looks about done. It looks like it's making um, the case for the planet gear. Yeah, that's awesome. Check that out. There we go, that's a better view right there. There it goes, it just changed tools. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, these things are neat. They actually have a battery pack on yeah. top so that it can rotate everything that's on this pallet. This is quite this is quite a cool machine here. These are more of the uh, like the machines that require operators, so they'll have a lot of guys, a, a couple of guys per machine, and uh, this requires just a little bit more um, hands-on. So there's a lot of guys, a lot of machinists that work here, and you know pay really close attention to detail so that they can make the best product. I gotta say, out of all of this, the thing that I brought away from this today is how much how much actually goes into making these and all of the accuracy that has to go into to making it what it is. 
So the reason, one of the reasons I like this company a lot is because I've used these tools and I know that the tools are going to hold up. And I, I see now why they hold up, because they have such a rigorous standard for what they make. So it's really fun to come here and see how it's all made. Okay, so what do we got here? This is final stage output. Final Finished, stage output. Nice, it's getting there. Cool. Well, then you can get like a parts that they're building today. Awesome. We got a little work stand. What's up guys? How you doing? Good, good, good. good. The old parts are making. Oh wow, yeah. So you guys you guys wreck all these out here inside of this big machine? That's awesome. So you set it all up and you just program it and then you can just toss it out. This really is amazing. You got a cool job, man. <laughs> well, this is uh, this is the area where they make most of the uh, the gearbox for it. Uh, they they honestly have multiple other buildings. They have a building that's dedicated to electronics and to some other things. But I think we're gonna end this video here. It's getting a little bit loud. And uh, we'll actually take a few photos and videos of, of what is actually made at the very end. All right, so we're kind of into the restricted area over here. So we got to keep the camera tight. And I'm going to show you what the final products are because we pretty much just took you through the, uh, this, the area where they mill and, and they do all of the stuff where they make the, the gearboxes. Um, but this is the, the final products here. So what we're looking at here is actually an ERAD Blue. Okay, so this ERAD Blue, this is, a, this is the 6000. A lot of you guys have seen things like this and used them. Um, all of that work that we were just seeing going on, um, that was all to make the gears inside of this gearbox right here. So um, this is very familiar tool for me. Uh, working on a GE wind turbine, we used a lot of these. We used the ERAD 3000 because it was in a good torque range for us. Uh, this is a, a really nice, robust tool, and it works fairly. It works really well. Um, this is simply, you know, forward and reverse functions right here. But this over here is something that they let me see, and this is some new technology right here, guys. As you can notice, these are, these are the areas where they keep what's called the strain gauges. So much like this, this product over here that takes the current readings and um, basically calculates what your torque is, this is working on a little bit different of a system. This is working on actual strain of the, of the, of the bolted connection, so it's a lot more accurate. And it, it'll tell this tool, you know, how, how, it's, how it's gotten to that torque value. So um, I probably butchered that up a lot, but this is what's new and coming, and so this is the, the ERAD S. It takes the technology from what they already created at uh, you know, the, the electronic socket and they're putting it right into the gun itself. So that's, that's really fun. I, I've had a great time here today. I'm really excited to uh, take this stuff out on tour and show it around. Um, I'm, I'm just very, very grateful that these guys brought me out here. Uh, I think we're gonna go out and do you know, some, some Canadian stuff tonight and, uh, and hang out so in the meantime I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, you have a good night <laughs>